Hey guys, uh, just going to uh, quickly go over the earthquake situation. Uh, there has been a significant increase, and so I just want to give a heads up so people are aware of what's going on. If you haven't been keeping up with, I think most people have three uh, earthquake 3D nowadays. If you don't, I'll put the link down below the video in the show more. You can download it. Uh, there was a 4.3 just off the coast of Northern California, right here. Now this is following. A series of quakes that have uh, triggered down around Mexico, Texas, now here in the ocean. And I just want to give a heads up. I mean, a, a huge earthquake, guys, can strike anywhere on this planet at any time. Doesn't matter if you have a fault underneath of you or a tectonic plate. Okay? Watch these earthquakes. Watch where they're triggering. Some trigger where there is no fault, and some trigger where there is absolutely no tectonic plate. Okay? So get the science out of your head go back to the scriptures understand that the, the land is all sitting on water that includes the water that's under the I mean the land that's under the water okay in the beginning there was nothing but water and the spirit of God was hovering over the waters okay from that comes land and then the waters are divided you know you got the atmospheric and you got space water if you don't think there's water in space you've lost your mind and you're caught up in science okay they Science are funny. Scientists say, you know, there's no water in space, and yet you ask them, what is a meteorite made out of? Ice. Okay, well, there's only one thing that's ice. Water. Okay, it could be other things. There's other uh, gases that do form into water. There's liquid nitrogen and so forth and so on. Okay, but there's ice. There's liquid water, or frozen water on pretty much every planet out there. And uh, space itself is full of water. The canopy that was around the Earth was part of that. But... Anyway, all that's going to come back later, guys. Just here, let's get on this earthquake thing and understand that a significant size earthquake can strike anywhere on this planet at any time. Okay? At any time. But here's a 4.3, and all I'm doing is I'm just giving the people from Alaska down to the bottom of South America, that includes Puerto Rico and the whole uh, Caribbean islands and Mexico and all Central uh, U.S. area, or Central America. Okay, so from Alaska all the way down to South America, heads up, there's been a significant uh, increase in activity, a lot of fours, high fours, not low fours, uh, being triggered here. And this is, we're now looking at the last uh, 24 hours as of right here. Okay, this is the last 24 hours, guys. Starting down here, you got a bunch of sixes and fives, and uh, going up South America, you got a bunch of uh, low and mid fours, and then you get up in... Central America, and you've got 4.8s, uh, mid to upper 4s, and then all the way up into America, you've also got 4.0s going on. So, be prepared, and let's look at the last 8 days here, and you can see that the activity that's going on along that entire span, and all the way around the, uh, halfway around the southern uh, South Pole there, lots of activity going on. Uh, you've been watching significant size earthquakes triggering over here around Indonesia in this area here so I'm just saying guys I don't care where you live on this planet heads up um, something big's a coming guys I don't know how big and I don't know where but it's uh, a matter of time now I don't know I'm just all I'm doing is saying heads up have a plan in case a quake strikes in your area that's all I'm saying Okay, I'm not saying one is going to strike. I'm saying that right now, looking at what's been going on, especially during the last week and the significant increase in activity that's going on, including all the way along this uh, U-shaped fault that goes through the United States. It's everywhere right now. So just a heads up. That's all it is. I love you guys. Get in the Word. Stay in the Word. Get in the Word, guys. I'll, get, uh, I'll put another video out about uh, what I'm doing with that, uh, uh, helping to do with that land out there. And I'll help you to understand that, look, it's not about saving someone's life, more so as getting the earth back to living. Right now, guys, the earth is dead. She, she's going through metamorphosis. She's going through labor pain. She's, she's going to consume those who destroy the earth, she, and she's going to bring forth a new earth and a new heaven. And it's going to be completely different than what you're used to. No seas, no nothing. I'm not going to throw the scripture verses up on here today, guys. I don't have the time. You can go back and watch my other videos to get the scripture verses but understand guys something if you see all of this start to calm down that's when you really need to worry 
but if you see it continue to increase you also need to worry because as long as it stays the way it is right now if it just maintains everything's going to be cool okay there's not going to be nothing huge anytime soon if it fluctuates down or up if it goes down normally if it goes down for a week or two down in magnitude you've got a massive quake that strikes okay if it goes up and continues to climb up usually a big massive quake strikes so just a heads up that's all it is guys not fear mongering don't want you to be afraid there's no reason to be afraid if you're in Messiah if you're in the word that was made flesh that perished went in the belly of the earth preached the gospel to the dead came back and is sitting at the right hand of the father if you're in him and he's in you you're good to go if you've got the word in you and you're in the word you're good to go okay the only safe place on this planet is in Messiah that's it but nevertheless heads up because understand guys for instance, a lot of people made comment about the storm shelter in the last video. Okay, why are you going to build a storm shelter? Are you trying to save your life? No. You are an absolute fool, literally a fool, if you don't build a storm shelter and you live in Tornado Alley. Okay? Common sense tells you prepare for what's coming. Well, Father told you each detail that you need to know about what's coming. Therefore, prepare. Just as he told you to prepare. And he told you do not be deceived, so you need to be paying attention and understand what the word says not what people are saying okay guys I love you get in the word stay in the word heads up on the earthquake situation There's been a lot of activity um, just heads up bless you all